Is it cold in here? It's, free, it's, it's freezing, freezing but I, here. I, well, I'm feeling good. Well, listen, if you have a case of the winter blues heading into the last week of January, what about getting into winter bird watching or animal watching to pass the time? Pumped to have our pal Jackson Hudecki from the Hamilton Naturalist Club back on the show for some serious bird nerd talk on a Friday. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm keen to talk about it 24-7, oh, so know, I'm happy I, to be I, here. I know you are. I get in the horn with you, and we're just like, we're talking birds. And I'm learning <laughs> so we, we, we do learn a lot. So Annette had a question for you yeah. saying, what was the question? Uh, she saw a robin, and, okay. and she wondered if that, like, what the heck, why am I seeing a robin right now? But robins are around all winter long, like where thousands hundreds of thousands will migrate thousands will stay all winter um, so they'll they'll flock up and they'll find themselves in a little woodlot somewhere who's the cooler robin the ones that go south or the ones that stay here They're the, the ones that stay here are the hardcore robins right I, I mean like as long as you're prepared for it like we are i'd say the robins that stay right. here are the and, cool and listen ones. we probably need i don't know rain jackets on today because it hasn't been the coldest winter now last week obviously was and you would need all this but yep. you brought some stuff because if you want to be out in the elements you got to prepare yourself for yeah. being out in, the, it's in important. the elements it's important to be outside every season right i mean like it's so good for your mental health your physical health like just being outdoors no matter the weather is is good for you is good for you as a person and it's good to always be prepared so where animals are prepared by growing you know thicker fur like beavers and foxes anything that is sticking around in the winter time we too need to insulate so um, my right, pals right. at the mountain equipment company hooked me up with some stuff today like base layers right like if you're if you're going outside you need to be layered up I know that we're in long johns today which is important but having a good base layer is is key so that you can insulate to be outside um, because the longer you can be outside the better including like having things that will warm your hands and your feet um, oh yeah like can, those like, warmers in yeah. the hands to increase it a good pair of boots I'm assuming right because you're standing boots and then flip underneath those too so so when it's icy and if you're ever hit, hitting around on the ice getting some nice cleats on your boots also goes a long way just to help keep you outside longer that's the point is is just to get outside and be outside because uh, patience you need to have it don't you? That is that that's is when you're gonna get the that's so when you get to get it. the good stuff. Yeah, so you can bring a backpack that you have a water bottle in that you can just drink, you bring a snack with you, and you can just be outside. And the binoculars. Yes, because that's when nature reveals itself. That's when what do you see? What do you got? Do you got a nest yeah. robin over there? Yeah, I got it in the tree over there by the couch. So okay, the I longer you're outside and the more you're just you're just calming down and slowing down is when nature starts to reveal itself to you. And I've I shot some footage yeah, over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, you want to get to the footage because yeah, this let's let's go through this. Because okay, so this take is, us take us through this. Yeah, this is the Hamilton Harbor. I was down by Pier 8, the Haida, and look at all that waterfowl that is just here in the harbor in Hamilton. Look at the opportunity to go look at wildlife. These are long-tailed duck and there's white-winged scoter diving and swimming looking for food. These come here in the winter only. Um, like, look at that. Look at those tails. Look at these Arctic those are, birds what that are the, come what are here. here. Long-tailed duck. Okay. Uh, common merganser here. These things show up in the wintertime. These are hooded. Look at sitting on the ice. Look at nice and insulated, just being able to sit and chill. Um, this is a canvas back. This was down at LaSalle Park. Diving what, are they down. Going for? what is it going for just down there? Whatever it can find. Yeah. Whatever it can find. A lot of mussels, uh, any sort of clam. That's a common loon. And this is a Pacific loon. Like, we have loons here in the winter. This is, again, Hamilton Ooh. Harbor, Lake Ontario. Tundra swan come down here again, LaSalle Park. Um, this is one of the only two native species. Now this gull here eating that dead fish is the biggest gull in the world. The great black back gull. And there's a crow and an American coot there looking to get their hands on. So it would have it got that, that fish and then brought it up onto the ice and having a little meal? Sure, yeah. And then the hunters who got a peregrine falcon actually sitting on the Haida, um, fastest animal on the planet. Not a headless bird but a merlin. Right. So these birds are here to hunt. This is an American kestrel, so the winter is right. a great time to look for raptors because um, they're out looking for food as well. Here's a northern shrike. Uses its beak to break the spines of mammals and other birds. Hacking up a little pellet there, Ooh, couldn't resist. Well, that's a good shot there. Is a northern mockingbird, uh, also a nice winter bird that hangs out here. And then look at this. This is an American tree sparrow. Again, comes down in the fall, stays the winter, leaves in the spring, and it's eating seeds off of native plants. So you and I talked about bird feeders. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's cool to have feeders in your yard, but we don't need to feed wildlife, right? right. They don't need us to help them. We just like it. Um, but if you plant native plants in your yard, goldenrod especially, I've got a goldenrod gall here, little insect that spends this winter inside this plant, um, the, the birds will eat from the plants that we put down. So if you want to be okay. a good helper for, for nature, put native plants in your yard or at your work, and it'll it'll go a long way. Okay, we got, uh, we're got we running out of time. Yeah, but yeah. if you want to learn more, you, you at the club, the Hamilton Naturalist Club, you guys have seminars yeah, that you guys we, host. We, we want to 
attract the nature nerds to us. We want to say, and if you want to get into a new hobby, get into nature with us. Yeah, that's your camera. Look down the barrel right there. I keep looking at it. No, that's not that's not So, yeah, we move over a little bit. Get rid of Oh, there you go. We have several events coming up. Uh, we can have we bring monthly up the board? meetings. Can we bring up the board there, uh, Laura, if you have it? Yeah, so what, what's the what's the events? We have so, 40 seconds left. So, yeah, we've got the we got CD Saturday coming up. Yeah. I'm doing a birding walk on February 3rd at Urquhart Butterfly Garden. Uh, we do So we do walks every month where if you don't know enough about nature, you want to learn, you come out and we just walk with you and we talk a lot about it. And then we've yeah. got meetings indoors on Monday nights where we can bring in experts to, again, just keep talking about what's happening in nature. We want people to just feel welcomed right. to learn learn because that's what okay. it's all about okay Jackson I got your name right making bird nerding cool again thanks buddy thank you okay happy burden